if you have ever wondered why there isn't a single 27-inch OLED monitor that you can buy on the market, I have some good news for you, because that's about to change this year. LG Electronics is going to release a 27-inch True RGB OLED monitor. Hello everyone, Vicentio from HDTV Test here. At CES last month, LG announced the launch of its new 32-inch OLED monitor, which uses a panel that comes from a Japanese company called JOLED. Now, at the time of the launch, LG did not specify any other screen sizes, but earlier this month in February, I can't believe it's February already, we have seen a certification status on the Korean National Radio Research Agency website that says that LG Electronics has actually registered another screen size model for this OLED monitor, which is the 27EP950. And you can see that it is classified as an OLED monitor. Now, this is extremely exciting news from the general OLED display front because all along, OLED displays, you know, they have always been limited to either large sized televisions, maybe 48 inches and above, and also smaller sized mobiles and laptops. And this year, we are getting two different sizes of OLED displays in a monitor friendly format from LG Electronics. And from the specifications of the 32EP950, we hope that the 27 inch model will also have a true contrast ratio of 1 million to 1, which is more realistic given OLED's self-emissive display characteristics, which means that every single pixel can be turned on and off independently of each other. This is different from the quoted dynamic contrast ratio that many LED LCD manufacturers like to throw out, and those are, frankly speaking, quite unrealistic because they can't control the pixels in as fine a manner as OLED displays. And other specifications on the 32-inch EP950, which I hope will also apply to the 27-inch EP950, are a DCI-P3 and also Adobe RGB color gamut coverage of 99%, and they will have a display HDR rating of 400 with True Black, which means that they should be capable of at least 400 nits to give HDR that sort of impact, especially when set against the background of true black. And one thing about these 27 inch and 32 inch OLED monitors from LG Electronics is that they will only be 60 Hz. So I think LG designed these displays not for gaming purposes. They are targeted towards the creative professionals industry. So I'm talking about colorists, I'm talking about people who are working in the VFX industry. And if you want an accurate display to do your creative work, then LG is hoping that these EP950 monitors will be a much cheaper alternative to the flagship Sony X300 or HX310 reference broadcast monitor, which can run up to £30,000 or even higher. So from that point of view, I think, you know, if you are looking for an OLED monitor for gaming purposes, I think you may have to wait a while longer. Now, let's talk about the panel on this 27-inch and also the 32-inch EP950 from LG then. I speculated in my original video of the 32 EP950 at CES that the panel might have come from JOLED and indeed, a day or two after I released my video, JOLED themselves issued a press release confirming that the panel is coming from them. For those of you who don't know, JOLED is a combination of the OLED display divisions of Panasonic and Sony in Japan and they merge together and they are trying to come up with new solutions for OLED displays but so far you know, they have been limited to smaller screen sizes, let's say 22-inch versions and now 27-inch and also 32-inch versions. But the unique thing about JOLED is that all their displays or all their panels that have been provided to other OLED brands are all printed. So they are using a printable OLED technology, which is unique on the market. And they claim that they are the only commercial provider of such a solution at the moment. And also one thing that will please some of you WRGB OLED detractors is that the 
subpixel structure that will be used on the EP950 will be through RGB subpixel structure, which means that there will be a red subpixel, a green subpixel, and a blue subpixel without any white subpixel to dilute the colors. So from that point of view, I think you know some of you will be happy. Obviously, the peak brightness rating may not go as high as the WRGB OLEDs that come from LG display but again you know when you are dealing with creative professional work maybe color purity is more important than sheer peak brightness and the thing with the pricing of these EP950 monitors is that you need to realize that they won't even be cheaper than LG's own 48 inch or 55 inch OLEDs because you have to understand that the panels are supplied by a totally different company J OLED and if we look at the history of J OLED monitors, you may or may not be aware that back in late 2018 or early 2019, ASUS released a 22-inch OLED monitor that used a panel from J OLED, and I think that the model number was PQ22UC, and it was a Pro Art monitor, and that monitor launched at a price of 5,000 euros for 20. 2 inch screen and maybe last year Azo also came out with a 22 inch OLED monitor using the same panel from J OLED and I think the launch price was around 3000 US dollars so these monitors are certainly not cheap but they are targeted towards creative professionals whose you know other step up upgrade alternatives are going to be 30,000 pounds, 20,000 pounds. I'm talking about the Sony HX310, I'm talking about the Sony X300, maybe the Flanders Scientific models and maybe the ASO CG3146 dual LCD monitors. So I think you know when you look from that point of view, if the price comes say under five figures, then it may be a bargain to any creative professionals working in the VFX industry working in the colorist or post-production industry, you know, these may be more tempting and more affordable alternatives, but don't expect these to come below the price of a 55-inch OLED TV from LG because I think that LG Display's mass production manufacturing method is at a more advanced stage than what J OLED is capable of. But Comparing between the 27 EP950 and also the 32 inch EP950, I think most of the specifications are going to be similar, but the 27 inch model will have a higher PPI or pixels per inch because obviously you are cramming the same amount of pixel into a smaller screen. So the resolution on both sets will be 3840 times 2160 UHD resolution, which gives us more than 8 million pixels and if you are cramming it into a smaller screen size then you will get a higher PPI and subjectively it may look sharper even though it may look less immersive but as I always say if you move closer it'll look bigger but if you like to learn more about other monitors suitable for color grading I created a playlist here if you like to click on it and I will see you in the next video <music>